Sebastian Heinz, we've got a new variant of the CH750 here at Oshkosh this year. Tell us about this new airplane. Yeah, we're super excited uh, to be introducing the Stoll CH750 Super Duty here at uh, Air Venture 2017. And uh, basically, it's a it's a big version of our Stoll CH750. We've actually put a rear jump seat in the airplane. We've added the wing area, increased it to 162 square feet, increased the wingspan to 33 feet, larger tail section and rudder section and so forth. And then because of the higher weight, it's gone with heavier duty uh, landing gear. And the empty weight of the airplane, 1,100 pounds, gross weight, 1,900 pounds, so it's obviously not a light sport category airplane. It's definitely a much heavier category. Is this something that you got from customer demands? Pretty much. One of the driving forces, you know, in addition to just talking to customers, has been also the, the advent of basic med. Well, I think we're going to see a lot more pilots looking at staying within the standard private pilot license as opposed to sport pilot license. So far, the, the response has been very good. What kind of performance does the airplane have on? Yeah, it's pretty much a super stole airplane. More lift area, we got more power. You know, on the front end of this airplane, we put 205 horsepower IO 375 engine, so lots of power. And again, a very high lift wing. Takeoff distance, well under 100 feet. Climb rate of well over 1,000 feet per minute. And cruise, you know, respectable, you know, a little over 100 miles an hour, so it actually works out really well. What's in the cockpit for the cross-country pilot? In the cockpit on this airplane, very, very different. We basically took the instrument panel out of the airplane and we replaced it with a repositionable unpanel is what we're, we're calling it, repositionable uh, integrated uh, display system. Partnered with the Evolution on that system, it's really something you have to, to look at to really appreciate. We basically, again, t by taking the instrument panel out of the cockpit, we really increase the space in the cockpit and, and importantly the visibility as well. We can see a lot more around us because we don't have the, the constraints of a traditional instrument panel. And then and then uh, with that glass panel, we can really reposition and reconfigure where the instruments are. You can actually see a lot better the critical instruments, airspeed, altimeter, when you're taking off and landing in this setup. It's working out really, really well. What's that transition like from going to a more traditional panel to this unpanel? It's surprisingly very easy. I think a lot of people are already familiar with glass panels, and that would be, I would say, it's the, the transition would be more from steam gauges to glass panel. That's a more difficult transition or a more noticeable transition than going from the traditional panel to this unpanel setup. Because again, it's the same layout, and we can actually position it where you want, so it really gives you a bit more choice that way. So, a really easy transition. And what's the base price of the airplane? Basic kit is just under $20,000, and then, of course, you got the engine and avionics additional to that. As this airplane is configured, there's about $80,000 in it. So I think it's still a very reasonable price, especially the fact that it's a super duty airplane in the sense rear cargo space and a big engine up front. Well, Sebastian, hope you have a great show and we appreciate your time. Oh, thank you. Aero TV is brought to you by your Cessna 172 or 177 wants a True Track autopilot, and so do many others. Visit TrueTrackAP.com and get your airplane added to the model list. The True Track autopilot at TrueTrackAP.com. We started with a 14 inch longer fuselage, high end interior finishes, Garmin G3000 flight deck, and a fourth window to give additional natural light to the cabin. We then redesigned the wings and horizontal tail, increasing the wingspan by a full four feet. Welcome to the jet life.